Hello everyone, and welcome back to Nancy Drew Warnings at Waverly Academy. We still have to get this snack to Mel, but I'm not really sure how to do that. Maybe if I talk to her again, I can get like a clue? Yeah? You've got my snack. Awesome. Never mind. Here you go. Perfect, thanks. All yours. Yay. What else is going on? I'll let you get back to your music. Door's always open. Nancy, you should have said something like, Okay, I got the snack, let's head back to Mel. I didn't know you'd grabbed it. Well, let's go do this piano puzzle, I guess. Also, it's, it's nighttime, right? Is there like a curfew at some point? What time is it? 8.43? Okay. I just went back upstairs, didn't I? Okay, well, what does this book say? Oh boy. I'm guessing that the one with the star on it is middle C. Because that seems like it would be very nice for them to do. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Now I just gotta pull up my notes and figure out which note is which. Alright. Oh. Okay, well I guess we gotta do something with the utensils in a minute, but first piano. Let's see, first is E6, which is, uh... Oh man. This one? Then A5, which is... This one. B5. C5. E5. B4. C5. G4. C4. Which is middle C. Okay, that was the left lamp. Now let's do the right lamp. Um, D2, which is... This one, I think. A2. B2. D3. F3 A2 which is back over here somewhere right here C2 which is way over here Did, did I not do that right? Should I have done the other one first? I don't know which lamp goes first. L let me read this book again.
first low base. So do I start with the uh, the lower end, I guess? I still don't know what this word means. Actually, I'm gonna look it up right now. Ah, it is a musical term. It has to do with sopranos, so I guess I should do the higher part second. I had the order backwards. Well, let's do this again. Okay, starting on this side. And now we go over here. Um, Did, did I still do it wrong? Oh no. Oh, there we go. I think I skipped out a few notes from all of them because there were two C5s and I got a bit confused. It's a cat! Oh, that goes in the, uh... The little slots. Down in the place. Do I have the key for this? I do not. Put the cat in there. Okay, that didn't work. I didn't think it would. Check. Check. That's done. Still have to do that. Haven't done that. Nope. Yeah, we need to go down to the cellar. Even though it's, it's nighttime and I don't... Can't check that off yet. Hmm. At what point will I get in trouble for wandering around? Whoa! Izzy, yucking it up with Corrine? This is an interesting turn of events. Is it? If you say so. It's too dark in here. I can't see a thing. Good for you, Nancy, turning on the lights before going down some rickety old stairs. You're being smarter than I am. Ah, over here. So do I need a bunch more of these? Or do I just have to put it in the right spot? What do you think, Nancy? Can't check that off yet. Alright, well I guess let's go talk to Kareen and Izzy, see what they have to say about recent developments. Izzy sounds a tad upset. Oh, okay. So apparently somebody photoshopped that picture or something? It did look a little weird, but I just associated that with, you know, the game's art style. Hey, I'm a little busy right now, okay? Because of that picture of you and Kareen? There was no picture of me and Kareen! Somebody obviously used a computer and pasted a couple photos together. Any idea who this somebody might be? Either Mel or Leela. They both resent me. 
Heck, maybe it was both of them. Anyway, I gotta do some damage control, so leave, okay? The sooner I figure out where the pictures used in that composite came from, the sooner I can salvage my reputation. I'll see ya. Oh, okay. Well, you guys are picky, huh? I gotta retake pictures of pretty much everyone, then. Okay, so it needs to be from, like, chest height up. And then I guess their face needs to be centered. Alright, well, time to retake pictures. Can't talk now. Just take a picture like that. What's up, Rumi? Did you get the text message with a picture of you and Izzy attached? Oh my gosh, was that not too cool? Me just sitting there chilling with my BFF Izzy Romero. How awesome can you get? It was awesome, all right, but was it real? What, the picture? Of course it was real. All this black cat stuff has brought her and me closer together. It, it's united us against a common enemy. You made it. Am I angry the whole school thinks we're suddenly best buds? Of course not. Sure, Izzy might feel a little annoyed by all this attention, but if she does, tough. Welcome to my world, Queenie. Pretty sure Corrine made that picture now. <laughs> I need to take your picture again. Cheese. Yoo-hoo! I'm waiting. Uh, I guess that's good. It looks pretty much centered. Could you speed it up a little? I'll see you in a bit. Hasta whatever. Yeah? Greetings once again. I need to take your picture again. Groovy. Uh, I can't pan up any more than I'm that. I'm ready! So, hopefully that's centered enough for you guys. Maybe I'll pop in again later. Door's always open. Okay, Rachel, Leela, Izzy. I'm here! You're here to take my picture over, aren't you? So, what's the holdup? Hey, I'm, you're being very picky with your picture qualifications, so you better not be impatient with me here. I'm doing the best I can. Could we please get this over with? Chill. Remember, come back when you've got them all uploaded. What's going on? I need to take your picture again. You mind? Go right ahead. Fire away. I said fire when ready. You okay over there? Okay, I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. You okay over there? Alrighty. I better get going. Hang in there. I need one more picture of Izzy, but I don't think she's in the mood right now. So I might as well go ahead and upload these just to see if I can get some feedback on them.
How's it going? I need to take your picture again. Sorry. Fine with me. Um, I guess that's good. Thank you for not rushing me, by the way. We do Never mind. I've harassed you enough. Adios. I just did it too fast for her to say anything. Alright. Oh, I gotta... Well, now what do I do? Can't check that <laughs> off yet. Correctly. Still have to do that. Yeah, what do I do with the ID? I haven't found any sort of like card reader or anything that I could use it for. So let's see if I can get some help. Hi, Nancy. You making progress? I need to get back. Call again soon, okay? You got it. Bye. Hi, this is Beth. I'm a little busy right now, but leave your name and number and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, okay? Hi, Becca. Got another question. No prob. I'd better let you go. Anyway, it's been real. I'll see you when I get back to Waverly, okay? Right, bye. Huh. Okay, I need a key to get into the utensil cabinet. I need to figure out what to do with this card. I need to... Oh, thank you. Well, does that mean I succeeded then? Did that? Yes, okay. We have something to do now. I was about to say that I don't know what to do next. What? Hey, you got everyone's picture uploaded. Sure did. Fab. Now I need you to lay out the web page. Just get back on the computer, log in, and click on the Meet the Candidates link again. It'll take you to a description of exactly where I want everything to go. No problem. I'll check the page when you're done to make sure everything's kosher. If anything's in the wrong place, I'll leave you a message describing what needs to be fixed. And once the layout is perfect, Report back to me, because I'll probably have something else for you to do. I knew you were going to say that. In case I forgot to say it before, I'm really grateful for your help. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Don't worry about it. It'll be nice just having you as a friend. Right. No, I, I would like favors. I mean, friendship is great and all, but favors are awesome. Plagiarism? Is that true, or is it just a rumor? Oh, well, I guess we'll have to talk to her in a minute. Okay, each column contains only one of the following. Megan, third spot. Boston, New York, and math. Huh. Izzy and Mel as far apart as possible, so one goes here and one goes here. Okay, so Izzy is here because they're- Jeez, hold on, guys. Oh, I need to get back to our room, then. We'll worry about the webpage tomorrow. What's up, roomie? I'll see you in a bit. Suit yourself. Uh, we have enough time to talk to Mel, I think. Time's not passing that quickly. Come on in. It's not true, if that's what you want to know. So you didn't plagiarize that paper? Of course not. I mean, I may bend the rules now and then, especially the stupid ones, but I have never cheated on a test or turned in a paper somebody else wrote, ever. Why do they think you did? Mrs. Arlington, that's my art history teacher, she matched my paper with something on Paper Trail. Paper Trail? 
papertrail.edu. It's a website all the teachers here go to when they want to compare a paper that's been handed in with papers available on the internet. Students aren't supposed to know about it. Not only is it insulting that they'd think I'd cheat, but that I'd do it in such a way that I was sure to get caught? Come on, I am not that stupid. Is it true you recently got a second note from the black cat? Yeah, I got the first note the day after Megan left. If I could just get online, I could clear all this up, but I can't, and whoever this black cat person is knows it. This is just so frustrating. Unless... Becca, look, I'm not anyone's favorite person at this school. The kids, the teachers. If I get kicked out, nobody's gonna care. But I don't deserve this, and I need help. Just before the school booted me offline, I got a glimpse of the IP address of whoever posted the paper I supposedly plagiarized. I didn't get a chance to write it down, but I do remember that none of the digits in it repeated. See if you can track it down. That's all I'm asking. Could you do that? Please? Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Hunting down the facts is kind of a hobby with me anyway. Here's the paper I got back from Mrs. Arlington. Just go to the academics page on the school website and look under resources for paper trail. If you enter a data source code, it'll tell you the IP address of the person who posted the paper I allegedly stole from. Thank you, Becca. Oh man, just knowing someone's on my side is a huge relief. Anyway, what's new with you? Maybe I'll pop in again later. Drop in any time. Quick, back to our room. Oh yeah, time froze while we did that. Sweet. So we'll just stay in here and read that paper. Let's see. Matching text found. Each instance highlighted and assigned data source number by paper trail. All matching text came from a single source. This paper was plagiarized. Sweet. Okay. Neat. Did that. Check. So I guess we just wait here for time to pass. Oh, I can change time. Okay. Good. Well, what time do I want to be? Yeah, let's go for like 9 a.m. That seems like a safe time. What was that? What I need is an expert tree climber to show me the best way up this thing. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh. Oh god, that's too many. Uh. Well, Nancy died. Falling out of a tree. Okay, here, here, here. Oh, that's too many steps. I can't remember that. Oh no. Uh... Oh no. I already forgot.
Nope. Nope. <laughs> Okay, over here first, then there, there. Ooh. No, that's that's not right. Oops. Can I go back? Can I undo? Was it which one was next? No, it was... Was it this one? <laughs> oh, I thought I skipped one there. Okay, that one. I see. <laughs> this is the most inefficient way to climb a tree. Oh, it's a beetle. What? What is that sound? Uh... Just some druidic rituals going on. That was uh, very unexpected. Let's get to a, a safe time now. Time to get up already? Oh, nuts. There goes my phone. Well, grab it. Where did it fall? Oh. Wait a second. What's this? Looks like Danielle did get a second note from the black cat. Interesting. What else is down here? Ooh, up. A... Is that... Oh, what state is that? Is that... Oklahoma? Or is it Arkansas? I'm really bad at geography. It's the... It's what... Like, right near Texas. I know that. Watch it be neither Oklahoma or Arkansas. What's up, Rumi? I've bugged you enough. See ya. Later. Oh, this is how we get into that room, isn't it? The one with the map or something? Oh, it is Oklahoma. Sweet, I feel smarter now. Did that. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. I'll look around under the... Check. Got it. Oh. Hey, guess who just got a note from the black cat? Congratulations. Just don't go all Danielle on me, okay? Stay away from closets. <laughs> don't worry. I have a feeling we're gonna get locked in the cellar or something. And maybe the boiler's going to try to explode and we'll have like a time limit to try and unexplode the boiler. I think that big machine's a boiler. I'm not sure. It's snowing. Okay, people, I'm ready to take your orders. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this done for the day so I don't have to worry about it. 
I just heard Mr. Harris is getting engaged over the holidays. That's why you're bummed. Come on, what do you think? You were gonna marry him? Eventually. You are so lame. There, all done. Hey, what's going on? I better get going. Hang in there. All right, we're heading outside. Into the snow. Oh, hello. Cool ribbon. No idea what that's for, but I like it. Okay, let's head to the library. Time for some logic puzzles. Yeah, I know they're in the wrong order. I haven't put them in any order yet. Okay, roommates are not side by side. They're still gossiping about me. Secret boyfriend? I guess so. We need to charge our phone, Nancy. It's getting a bit low there. Okay, Mel goes over here. I need to write some of this down. I'm just gonna try this. I I'm making like an Excel spreadsheet <laughs> to try and get this figured out. Okay, where's resources? Oh, here it is. Okay. Let's see. Well, I guess I gotta write these down. Okay, first number. None of the digits repeat. That's what we were told. What? Hold on, I'm I'm confused. What is going on? Uh Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on here. Hmm. Okay, let me try this again with a different number just in case. Am I supposed to, like, watch the numbers as they shift and pick the ones that I don't see multiple times? Oh, that's going way too fast for me to see. Oh wait, I see how this works. Never mind.
I just have to make sure that none of these have the same... I was confused because I thought there were supposed to be three digits digits in these one, which was... Which meant some of them had to repeat because there's only ten digits total. That's how numbers work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Is that it? If the date on this paper is correct, then whoever posted the paper online did so after Mel turned it in, which proves she didn't copy it. Jacob Price. I wonder if that's the same Jacob Izzy allegedly stole from Leela. Interesting. Well, still no feedback on that yet, so let's go talk to... How's it going? Is this barrette yours, by any chance? I found it outside. It's not mine, but I know whose it probably is. Who? Little Miss I'm So Goth I'm Cool, Mel. Thanks for all the advice. Pop in any time! Alright, well, we've we got to talk to Mel about a couple things now. So let's head up there. I thought it might be Mel's. What's the word? Is this by any chance your barrette? Yeah, it is. Hey, thanks for finding it. I don't know why I bother with these things. They're always falling out of my hair. I know. This one fell out of your hair at that cloak and dagger meeting you were at last night. What meeting? I don't know what you're talking about. I was watching, Mel, from up in the oak tree. I saw you. I'm not going to tell you anything, so whatever you think you saw, just forget it. Okay, so she's not denying it. I can't just forget what I saw, and you know it. Mel, look, whatever you tell me will go no further than this room, I promise. I'm not looking for something to gossip about. I just want to know what's going on with you, that's all. What you saw was a meeting of the Blackwood Society. It's a secret club that someone at Waverly started a couple of years after the school was founded. Only seven girls a year get chosen to be members. What does the Blackwood Society do? We just meet. There's no talking or socializing. We literally just stand around for about 20 minutes and chant. It's more like a tradition, one that keeps going even though everybody's forgotten how and why it started. Everything's totally anonymous. Everyone wears a black cloak, except for the leader. Hers is light blue, and no one ever talks. They just whisper, so you can't tell who anyone is. About once a month, I'll get a note or a text saying there's a meeting that night. I don't think there's any point asking who the leader is, because it seems like Meg Mel doesn't know anyone. What happens if you don't want to be a member? I have no idea. Look, to me, belonging to the Blackwood Society is cool. Not because it's secret and exclusive and all that, but because I like being part of something that someone a long time ago, for whatever reason, thought was important. I like not knowing what the chant means, and I accept all the secrecy and anonymity, because by doing so, I get to be part of a tradition that's more than a century old. I'm sure some girls belong because they're too intimidated to quit, but I belong because the unknown is something I've always felt drawn to. Anyway, that's it. That's all you're going to get me to say on the matter. Was the date on your term paper the date that you turned it in? Yeah. Why? Because the paper you supposedly plagiarized wasn't online until the next day. Someone must have gotten a hold of your paper, copied it, and posted it in an attempt to make you look like a plagiarist. So all the headmistress has to do is check the dates and I'm in the clear. Oh my gosh, Becca, thank you. Thank you. So who posted it? Who tried to frame me? I, uh, I don't know for sure, but it kind of looks like Izzy may have been involved. What a surprise. Hey, I got something a newbie like you might like to read. Has some interesting information about Waverly. Thanks. You can keep it. I know everything I want to know about this place. Anything else going on? Do you think there's any connection between the Blackwood Society and all this black cat stuff? I meant what I said before. Blackwood Society? Never heard of it.
All right, well, thanks for the information. I'd better get going. Sounds good. Oh, hello. Oh. Interesting. Uh, let me look at this real quick. Okay, I didn't see anything particularly of note there. I might need this for some puzzle later, though. I don't see any names that I recognize. Well, it sounds like we need to go break into Izzy's room. But I'm going to save that for next time, because I'm not sure how long this video is, because I spent a lot of time writing down notes and stuff. But things are definitely getting interesting. I think the Blackwood Society is more than it seems. Like, I, I believe Mel when she says she doesn't really know what's going on. But there's still something going on. It's very interesting. Check. Can't check that off yet. Yeah, we need to figure out what they were saying for sh sure. That's done. That's done. Check. Alright. Well. We still gotta do the website. I don't... That's going to be a bit of, a, a bit of an ordeal, I think. Because <laughs> I spent like 15 minutes trying to get all that information organized. We gotta get the Poe book. We gotta figure out what these little... Well, obviously these all go in the thing down in the cellar, but... I don't really know what order they go in yet. And we gotta get a key to open up the cabinet to get to the silverware. Interesting. Lots of puzzles going on. So, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!